Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video tutorial for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at using Visual Composer and specifically we're going to be taking a look at using the Google Maps widget. Showing you how easy it is to insert a Google Map in the web page quickly and easily. So let's take a little look at how that's done. So there are two things we need to do. The first thing we need to do is insert the Google Maps widget into our page. And the second thing we need to do is find the location on the Google Map that we want to use, copy the relevant code and insert that into the, Google, the, uh, the Visual Composer widget. So let's see how we can do the first part of that. I've already switched on the Visual Composer so you can see we've got the editor screen in front of us. I'm going to click Add Element and from the pop-up box we're going to just choose Google Maps. So that's going to open up the Google Maps dialog box. Now, it's already embedded something in there for me, which I don't want. So we'll just say that this is what you should see. We can give the widget a title if we want to, which we've discussed in previous videos. And all the title does is actually put a title onto the page, which you don't really get a lot of control over styling. So I generally tend to leave that out. If I want to put a heading to something, I insert a text box or text block. And in there, I'll put in the information I want, which I can style the text accordingly. Second block we've got is the embed iframe code that we're going to use from Google Maps. Then we've got the map height, which we can just specify a specific amount, or we can leave standard. And we can give it an extra class name should we want to style this separately or independently on the page or throughout our entire site. So we've got the text box, or we've got the Google Maps settings box open. So all we need to do now is actually find the iframe code from the Google Map location that we want to work with and paste that in. So let's just switch over to Google Maps. And I've already put a destination in, which in this case is going to be Buckingham Palace. And all I need to do is come down to the bottom right hand corner and we've got a little cog icon. If I click on that, that'll bring up a small uh, dialog box or a little menu system that we want. And I've got share or embed map. If I click on that, you can see it brings up either the share link, which is what you should see by default, which is the actual link to this map, or we've got the embed, embed map option, which is what we want. Now you can see it's already highlighted this block of code, so all I need to do is right click and choose copy, or alternatively use the keyboard shortcut of Control and C. I can then switch back to my Visual Composer and simply Control or Command V to paste my iframe text in there, or alternately I could right click and choose paste from the options. If I want to make a change to this, which in this instance I will, I'm going to say I want it to be 450 pixels. I'm not going to worry about a class name and I'm not going to worry about a widget title, I'm just going to hit save changes. That's embedded our Google map. I can hit update and then we can switch over to the front end and take a look at what this looks like on the page. So if I just switch over to the front end, you can see there's our embedded Google map. You can tell it's a properly embedded map because we can zoom around it. We can zoom in, zoom out, and everything else you can do with a normal embedded Google map. So that's all there is to embedding maps using Visual Composer into your web page in WordPress. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the like icon, it really does help. If you've got anything in particular you'd like to see in a future video on WordPress, please by all means pop that in the comment section below. Or if you've got any feedback at all on this video or any of the other videos featured on this YouTube channel, please just put them in the comments below and we'll uh, get back to you and answer any questions you may have. Until next time, take care.